Okay, so here we got a little bit of uh, police activity. So, for those of you who don't know, this is uh, Traders. It's actually a pawn shop. So, pawn shop meaning, of course, uh, people come here, they buy, uh, people come here, they sell their used stuff, and then other people come and buy it. So, uh, here's a the white car right there is uh, an under, under the white car is an undercover cop the white the white car is an under, under the white car the white car is an undercover cop and the other one is just a normal police vehicle there was another police vehicle it left so i'm assuming there was, I, i'm assuming there's a robbery there i'm assuming it's a robbery in there Either a robbery or someone got caught shoplifting. Sometimes they call the police if they tr if they get caught selling uh, hot stuff or stolen stuff, but they wouldn't really be putting on their they wouldn't really be putting on their lights. They wouldn't really be putting on their lights for something like that. So the fact that he's got his lights on, I'm, I'm thinking it's probably a, a robbery there. So nothing too exciting from my standpoint, but I maybe I'll just sit here for a little bit, see what's going on. So for those who don't know, um, I'm, in, I'm here in Canada, I'm here in Canada, and the province that I'm here is called um, Newfoundland, actually Newfoundland, Newfoundland and Labrador, but I'm in the Newfoundland part, it's the very east, the, the very, the very east, far, it's the very um, far east point of, um, not only of Canada, but really of all of North America, so... I don't really feel like getting any closer. Right? I'm not going to go over and talk to the cops. Some people, some journalists do that. I don't. I don't like to get too close. I don't want to interfere. I mean, I, I could probably go inside the store and ask questions as to what happened, but I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to go inside that store. I'm not going to interfere. So facing me is a very strong beam of sunlight. So the sunlight is kind of blinding me, so I can't really directly look into that direction. So I'm kind of just pointing the, the camera aimlessly. So I don't know if that guy is actually a, a, a real blind person that just walked by. He's got his cane. I've seen people walk around um, with they're kind of they look they look like canes, but they're not really canes, all right? They're kind of like I can't remember what the word is for. It's like orientating orientation thing or something like that. It's kind of like their their walkers that they do for orientation and the use of sticks. That could be it. So I'm just going to uh, maybe stay for a few more minutes.
So the cop just the cop just went right back into his vehicle. So it's, it's kind of interesting that uh, that white undercover cop car. Now, you know, if if you if you if you turn off those uh, those cop lights, that car that car I don't know how you could tell it was a cop car. It, it looks exactly like a civilian car. It's, it's probably the I can't tell from here, but the windows are probably di uh, tinted just a little bit. But not too much. But without those legs, there's, it's very hard. And and you know, since I've been living, he, in I would say in the last year, I've seen a lot, numerous times where people have gotten pulled over by pretty much that same undercover cop car. So it's it seems to be. The, the undercover cop car that they like to use and for a good reason because uh, it's very hard to uh, distinguish or, or differentiate, right? So now, the the uh, the normal cop cars got his lights on, right? So the fact that he decided to put his lights on, that's telling me that's something a little more serious. So here's another cop car that just pulled in. But he's leaving too. So that's kind of sick. It's not it's it's a little bit serious, but not too serious. I'm kind of wondering if they're going to come up with a suspect in handcuffs, right? So you know, I I, um, I travel through this location quite often. Um, I've actually I've only been in, inside that place I think once, um, and my my memory of it um, it's actually a pretty decent place. A lot of people, you know, they think, oh well, um, pawn shops are you know creepy, sleazy, um, dirty places, scummy. But that place in there, I remember, was pretty, uh, pretty decent, pretty respectable. Nothing special, but nothing too bad either. Pretty clean and organized, right?
So this is a little um, unusual because if there was a suspect, he would have been out, out of there in handcuffs and put in the car by now. The fact that they're just sitting there for that long with their with their lights out, I'm not I'm not really sure what's going on in there. And I think I'm just going to wait just a few more minutes and then that'll be it because I'm getting kind of bored and I'm not sure when the, how much longer it's going to take for this to, to resolve. So it's been quite cold here in Newfoundland um, the last couple of weeks. Definitely uh, below zero. And today the sun was out for once. Um, the fact that the sun is out obviously means there's going to be heat from the sun. So it's, it's actually still pretty cold. It's gotten colder, um, but it's not like freezing cold. It's funny, eh? Because people will say, um, you know, why, if you go on YouTube and stuff, and, and late, especially lately in, in the more recent time, you have a lot of these types of YouTube videos. They're called cop watches, right? And people have mixed feelings about cop watches, right? But on the more positive note, you know, um, people like to watch them because. Not only are they entertaining, but, you know, back in the old days, you know, people would buy um, those scanners, right? Just the audio only scanners at home. And they would literally listen to those scanners at home all night. And now, you know, um, people have scanners on their phones or um, actually still the normal scanners in the cars and, and they pick up these calls and they, and they film th th this police stuff. But the thing is, is, is that one of the reasons why I watch them is because they're very relaxing, right? You don't really have to think too much. There's usually not too much drama or anything. You can just kind of sit back and um, see what's going on, right? If you have, an, um, if you have the, uh, the channel owner, hopefully he's a good narrator, a good talker. Um, he can keep your company with, with, with the way he narrates things and, yeah.
okay, I'm gonna wrap this up because it doesn't look like anything is happening and I'm getting kind of bored. So, um, thanks for watching. Make sure to, uh, make sure to hit on that sub subscribe button so you know, um, whenever I post a new video, you get notifications. So the cops going in the store now. So the cops going in the store, or he's, he's, he's talking to someone now. But like I said, a pod shop like this, it's, it's, there's always going to be police, police activity for whatever reason, right? It's quite common. The employees in there are quite used to it. All right, so it looks like both both of those cars now have the, the, the cop lights are off. The cop lights are off, so it must be coming to a close. That cop is gone. There's only one left, the undercover. I would like
lights are off, so it must be kind of too late. Press that subscribe button. Press that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Peace out. So there was one more thing I wanted to record is um, what's going on. What's going on now is uh, the police called uh, the local towing company, the local uh, tow truck, and they're towing that vehicle, right? So I'm assuming what happened is um, the criminal got got caught and he was arrested in, inside the store. So that means uh, once he was put into the cop car, car and brought to the police station, so that's his car and so they're towing it. Yeah. So a little bit of little bit of closure for this video. But I don't think that I actually saw the uh, them put the bring the guy out with handcuffs and put him in the car. I might have missed that. Okay, that's all for now.